Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Gazooie is still up to her old tricks. But that is okay because it's perfect for finishing off this world by keeping the spirits high. And speaking of high spirits, I am gonna fly. Because I'm gonna do a rather annoying little side quest here that involves... Uh, actually, oh wait, actually, no, 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 no. I was gonna say I should do this side quest now just to get it out of the way, but I actually should set something up before I do that and get in the sky and whatnot, so I'm gonna go back over to that uh, last pyramid that Gobi was um, closest to, this one right here, and I'm gonna grab these notes right away, of course, and on the back side here, this is the thing that I'd like to set up for the future, kind of kind of slam this. And inside that cactus with the eyes that I talked about last part, an empty honeycomb appears. We gotta fly through that dangerous thing. <laughs> yeah, it actually hurts you if you if you uh, touch the edges or anything like that. So yeah. But uh, uh, since I'm over here, I might as well do this pyramid. Sounds like a good idea. So we got the switch on top, and I'm gonna plop off here at the front. Come on, I know where the door is. I I played this game before. You don't have to tell me. Cutscene. <laughs> Okay, so, what do we have here? Well, first off, we got a rather annoying enemy I gotta take care of. And we also got these floor panels. What is this monstrosity? Well, this is a mini game, And oh boy, is it a mini game. I think these panels are all in the same positions, but I never have these memorized, so I always do this the same way. I just sort of like do it in a methodical way, like I see mumbo egg, feather, note, no. Banjo. Basically, it's a matching game, and uh, yeah, there's a timer attached to it. No, that is a feather egg, right? There's a feather, yes. So yeah, I think these are always the same way. Uh, Mumble was here, right? Yes. Um, Kazooie was, was, was there? Yes. Looking good. The note was here, was it? No, I'm incorrect. It was... That was not it either. <laughs> I'd forgotten. Oh, I got lucky there. Uh, what's this one? It's an egg. That's this one. This this one is the note. Okay. So there's the note. It's not that difficult to do as long as you keep moving and do your best to memorize. But uh, it, it can be kind of a thing because, yeah, it takes a little while to do. Unless you have the whole thing memorized. Alright, and you know, you get kind of messed up by the pressure well that's uh that's another factor that could potentially do, oops that could potentially do you in all right now i'm gonna go around here and those are those flight pads that i was talking about that were at the bottom of the sand last part but since i filled it up with water now we can just swim up to the surface but first i'm gonna get these notes and then there's more notes and stuff to get underwater too so oh, thank you graphical glitch you are showing very well that emulation is not the future in its current state. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna hop up here and slide down here. Oh yeah, that was nice and fancy. <laughs> um, bloop. Oh wait, why did I grab? Ah, forget it. It's fine. Now, um... Yeah, there's eggs all around here, but I'd like to show you there is a mysteriously floating mumble token in the sky. Now you might think, eh, I gotta fly into that to get that. Oh, no, 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 you don't have to. Oh, no, 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 no. First, I'm gonna do this stuff underwater here. What do we have? Ecombokum. That's good. There's the notes. Let's get all the notes. Gotta get them all. Gotta 100%. Gotta OCD this like a pro. Here's a Jinjo. One more remains. And... And, and, and... How long is this going to take? I don't know. It just feels like it's taking forever. Okay, that was the last one. Now, um... When this place is flooded, it's a whole lot safer to do this whole rigmarole involving these platforms here. See, there are... These statue things you gotta shoot eggs into, and normally you'd have to jump on them with the deadly sand down below. Well, since I got the water in there, it's now safe to do so. You know, you don't have to worry about the uh, sand burning or anything like that. So, starting over here, I guess. I, I didn't remember where it was. We gotta shoot 
three eggs into... Oh, did I get them all in there? Wow. <laughs> I didn't look like that I got them all in there. And so a pyramid starts to rise from the sand. And it looks like I gotta go around counterclockwise based on the hint from that camera angle. So I'm gonna go flop over here, and then the moving shooting game begins once again. Oh, there's... Oh, perfect. Wow, I am a sharpshooter today. <laughs> And it, like, this would not normally happen to me in any regular old playthrough. This is probably the best I've ever shot in any day I've ever played this game ever. <laughs> Alright. Now watch me flub this one a whole lot. That's okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't too worried about... I mean, I got, you know, multiple loads of eggs going on here thanks to my double-powered blue eggs quote-unquote cheat code which isn't really much of a cheat code because the game gives it to you <laughs> all right now where was that bridge that um eh, i think i should have went around the other way but i think i'm too far away from that spot now to go back the other way as it's now shorter going this way well 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 all right so the inside of this place is pretty dangerous so we're gonna go up here and get a mumble token first. <laughs> yeah, that's the one I was talking about. That's the way to get it if you don't fly to get it. Alright, so in here... Oh no! King Sandy Bot's tomb! Anything but that. Alright, so there's a couple of notes in here and... Uh, get this ready. And... Uh oh! Beware instant death if you fail this! Yeah, we got a maze going on here. We better get a move on. Oh, no, it's a dead end. Don't don't worry about the collectibles, except for one thing in this corner-type area right over here. There is a grunty switch, which, of course, opens something up over on that side. Oh, yeah, you know that side. I'll be back for that later. <laughs> now I gotta go around this way. This is the fastest way that I found to do this. Um, you know, well, if I had it better memorized, I'd be able to do it even faster, but, uh, there we go. Whoa! Because I took that one wrong turn into the bear, bear, <laughs> not bear, um, egg corner. I just said bear because I seen bear on the screen there. And behold, a jiggy! Yes, and you probably heard that signature whistle. And there's a feather in there. Where is the Jinjo? Where is it? And how am I not destroying the spider web structure when I'm going in here? Look at that, look at that. My nose is outside the pot. Even even his nose is just smelling something fishy going on with me not breaking apart those things. And there's the last Jinjo. Heck yeah. Oh yeah. Whew. Now I don't believe there's anything else in here unless you want to go back and uh, do the deadly challenge to get the eggs and feathers and stuff like that that you can get in there. By the way, if you want to see what happens if you die... Spike the ceiling! Uh, yup. <laughs> A little graphical issue as I was coming out of first person, but... Eh, emulation. Emulation. Anyway, I'm out of here because I'm pretty sure that's cleared out. There are... only a, There's only a little bit left to do here. And I'm gonna start... Bye, bye, bye. I think going over to fly, 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 fly. Because I want to do this thing now that I've got the honeycomb set up for the future. Remember that I hit that switch behind that pyramid via the ground pound, and I got myself, I mean, got the honeycomb set up inside that cactus, the circular type mouth thing. Well, I'm gonna do this along with it. I'm gonna try and fly through these without wasting too many feathers. Okay. Alright, I will summon them all. Hopefully. Hopefully. Let's beat that witch once and for all. Yes, we must have beat her. Uh, this one, that one appears near the start, right? I think it does, because those are those two cactuses that, that yeah, yeah, I had the platforms in front that I had to shoot eggs into the nose to make them sniffly. There we go. Uh, that's behind the Sphinx. Uh, in, uh, uh, in some fashion. There we go, it's over there. I think there's another one on the other end of the Sphinx in the sand. So yeah, some of these are kind of kind of tricky to get to if you accidentally touch the ground and do a landing. Yeah, because you'll fall in the sand, you'll probably take two or three honeycombs worth of damage. Not very friendly. <laughs> Oh man, I wanted to defeat the witch right here and there. 
Well, it looks like the game continues on. <laughs> okay. So, Jiggy. Hey, Jiggy. Jiggy, Jiggy, Jiggy. Jiggy! Yeah, that was la- And I skipped the animation because I got it while in flight. Oh, poopers. <laughs> now, over here... Uh, I can get there a little bit faster via that. Oh, yeah. Well, that, that's not exactly uh, what I was going for here, but, uh, well, yeah, that, yeah, definitely not what I was going for there. But I can use that carpet over there to get up there, too. I wasn't just gonna fly over there, but I guess I'll show you the carpet method, just because. Why not? Um, I seen it go over there. Doesn't it loop back around? Yeah, it goes back down around there. This one doesn't disappear, disappear. It goes over to those waiting boots, and then comes back over here. Uh... Come on, come on, come on, you can do it. I have faith in you. Hey, this is why I wanted to fly up there rather than use the carpet. <laughs> it just takes a lot, so much faster. Oh, and there's Gobi again. <laughs> I, I think you know what you need to do. And I got all the notes now. That's, uh, that's another nice thing going on here. All right. <laughs> For some reason, he's got that in him as well. And, <sighs> All right, so that's taken care of. <laughs> there we go. Voila. And thank you for coming over to me, because I need you to get back in a relatively easy fashion. Um, I think I'm going to actually wait for this carpet to go back up to... Yeah, this one right here, because I want to fly rather than get the waiting boots. And that's what I intend on doing. So... Flying it is to get that last honeycomb. And yeah, I might as well beak bomb over there to speed things along. You might want to actually beak bomb through this thing because it's a little bit easier and less haphazard to than to uh, fly through it because you're drifting up and down and whatnot. Ah, poopers. Ah, well, I got it. <laughs> and there we go. And do you know what we just did? Do you know what we just did? If you guessed 100% of the world, you would be right. <laughs> Alright, so we are done. Now I'm going to go back over to Grunty's lair to take, uh, pick up a few loose ends. Oh, I'm going to ram my... Oh! <laughs> I'm going to ram my face and... <laughs> that was a little bit offline. Uh, and I, yeah, I'm going to go back to... Ah, I'm getting myself in all sorts of trouble trying to beak bomb my way back here quickly. But, a but I don't regret a thing, because it was much faster. <laughs> All right, now by the power of boots, we're going back through here. Very short timer. <laughs> All right, now for that jiggy that was over here. Remember we hit the witch switch inside of the middle temple? Yes, 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 it's open! It's open! Oh no, how do we get that? Well, we need. We have to actually use this a second time. Yeah, that's a sneaky one, isn't it? Thought you only had to use this once, didn't you? Mm-mm-mm-mm! <laughs> oh! Well, well that's, that's one way to get it, I guess. <laughs> oh, did I get the mumble token behind you? I think I did, yeah, okay. Just so I would check that over. Now, um... Where is stairs for the remainder of the stuff that I'd like to clear out this part? And this one's this one's a tricky one right here. This one I do not like because of Sir Slush. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. It's the issue of getting up there and then coming back without getting hit by a snowball while running at high speed. Uh, so yeah, Sir Slush is hanging out over there to the left and you can't do anything about him. Uh, unless we're flying, and well, we kind of we kind of need to be flying to do something else, and it's not really worth it taking care of it. Ah, I hate you so much. <laughs> mm, I don't like this one it's when he's out, because the pressure, the pressure, I can't take it. Okay. <laughs> All right, now remember this right here, this switch that makes the flight pad appear. Now those shoes are active, so. Get him, and go! Go, 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 go. That was good timing there, because I'm not going to be hit by a snowball. Now, we're not going to have much time to do this, so get on the pad and immediately hit a button. Oh! Mm. There we go. 
All right, now, what am, what am I doing in flight mode? Well, there is a hole up here that we gotta fly through. Well, we don't necessarily have to fly through it, it's just, just a way for me to do it. A little bit easier to avoid Sir Slush. And then that open hatch that I got at Freeze Easy Peak is right here. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Now, now, I'm gonna get... Oh, you <laughs> so slippery. I'm going to grab this just for kicks. Now, um, oh, I should actually show you what the animation looks like when that pa pad shatters, because it actually looks kind of neat. Uh, so I'm gonna do this rigmarole again. Oh! Well. <laughs> so I'm gonna do this rigmarole again here really quick. And come on, no, 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 you don't. Okay, that was good timing. So... So I'm gonna purposefully not actually get on the pad to fly, so that you can actually see the animation for that. But I will. I still will have to use these. Yeah! Go 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 go! <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna wait it out right next to the pad, so that you can see. Watch this. Yeah, I think that looks pretty neat. I don't know why I like that effect. It's just a, it's a bunch of triangles and the pads colors flying and going everywhere. It's... I don't know, I like it. <laughs> anyway, with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I continue my trek through Grunty's Lair, and perhaps find the next place that I should be going. Hint, it may or may not be up that slope, and may or may not be through Grunty's mouth over there. Maybe. Maybe. Anyway, I think it's time for a black screen transition!